Acknowledge the people that most people do not. My name is Blaze Assign, and I help young men break bad habits, build confidence, develop self-esteem. Today, I want to discuss why you should start acknowledging people that most people just overlook. I'm talking about the person that you see often, but you just walk by them without saying anything, without saying hi. There's a lot of people like this in the world. People who are invisible in the eyes of others. And I've made it a habit in my life to make sure I acknowledge those people that most people just walk by. I make sure to go up to them and say, hey, how are you doing today? Hey, you know, what's going on today? Anything new? And, and really wanting to get to know them. I'll give you a few examples of who these types of people can be and maybe how you can start being more conscious of this in your daily life. So for one big example, I want to talk about my surgeon who helped me last year when my appendix ruptured and who brought me back to normal, who saved me, as well as the rest of the medical team. Now, a lot of people will go through an experience like that, right? And they will never go back and thank the people who helped them out, right? After that point, the experience happened. It's over. It was traumatic. Not going to go back and uh, relive that anymore. I'm going to forget about it. Meanwhile, there's a person out there, if you went through something similar to what I went through, even if not, just the principle is important. There's that person out there who was responsible for saving your life. And you're just going to forget them. You're just going to move on from the whole experience and not go thank them for everything that they did for you. Look, I don't think that's right. So what I did is as soon as I moved back to Boston, which is the town where, you know, this happened. I was in the hospital at Tufts Medical Center and I was there for eight days and I had a great team, a great team of doctors who helped me get through that experience. It was rough. I had medical complications, underwent multiple surgeries and I'm forever grateful for the team that helped me that day. So when I moved back, I went over to the hospital and I went up to a room. It was the surgical associates room. And I asked, hey, is my doctor who helped me last year here? Is that her name? They're like, no, she's not here. Um, but you can write a note to her if you'd like to say something. We'll pass it along to her. So I wrote out on a note saying how grateful I was for everything that she did for me. And how grateful I was for the rest of the team, um, for saving me, for getting me through that experience correctly, for patching me up properly, right? When underwent uh, assisted um, open surgery and my surgeon's hand had to go inside of my abdomen to solve the issue that was going on with a stone that flung down there. And man, imagine doing that and doing that with such precision that I came out completely fine at the end of it. Yes, I was weak and my body had been brutalized for a long time, but after a month or so, I started recovering and getting back to normal. And that was only possible by the work done by that team. So I wrote down my number on the phone, on, on the note, my phone number on the note. And I said, please give me a call back. I w it would be great to speak with you. I got a call last night from a number I didn't recognize. And it was her. It was my surgeon who helped me. And she 
said that she was really grateful that I wrote the note to her. And I told her how grateful I was for her and the team and everything they did to get me through that experience. And what they do is unbelievable work. Unbelievable work. I, I can't imagine doing that. I can't imagine being faced with you know, helping someone who's in, in a potentially life-threatening position. That's what I was in. I needed an emergency surgery. So imagine you only have a certain amount of time to help someone and you're put in that room and you have to help someone out. Just the work that medical doctors do and the whole team does is just unbelievable. And that was a great talk that I had with her. And she told me that I did all the heavy lifting. Didn't even want to take credit for it at all. No credit for it. It was me who did all the heavy lifting. And sure, I was the one who went through all the pain and fought through it. But man, to say that she didn't play a part, that was very, um, her just being humble. And yeah, even though she didn't want to take any credit, I still acknowledged her and thanked her for everything she did for me. That was one macro example, something that was big. Maybe you couldn't relate to that as much, but just giving you another example, like at the building I live in, there's always someone sitting at the front and you know, people walk in and walk out all day, residents of my building, and they don't say anything to them. Even at the last building I was at too, there was someone at the front. No one said anything to the person at the front desk when they walked by. Not, hey, have a good day, or hey, how are you? Nothing like that. But I made it a point, and I still make it a point every day, even when I'm busy, even when I'm rushed, I will make time, whether it's you know even just two minutes, I'll go down and say, hey, how are you doing? Everything good, what's new? Do a quick catch up, and just make them just help them feel like they're seen, right? Like what, like I'm grateful for what they do. A lot of people forget to do that. I don't think that you should ever forget people or just walk by people, especially if you see them every single day without saying something. If you see a person every single day, whether it's on your commute or you know, when you go into your job or when you go into a school, if it's a janitor or, a, you know, there's a bunch of positions that people just don't acknowledge. So make a point to acknowledge those positions and you'll feel great about yourself for doing it, but you'll also make that person feel great. They'll start to feel seen and like people care. Now, I want to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you understand the essence of the message I'm trying to, uh, port, you know, put across here. Couldn't talk for a second. <laughs> I think it's super key to make sure you acknowledge people, the people who aren't seen, the people who might feel invisible because people don't care about them enough to say anything or to care about them enough to want to know how their life's going. Make it a point to do that. And I promise you, it will be a great feeling. I want to thank you again for watching today's video. If you want to learn more about what I do with the Discipline Institute, you can click the link in my bio, in my description. You can click the link to my socials below as well. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.